another round here. Oh, hey, I, I didn't see you there. Uh, welcome to Tavern Talks with Rox, a new show where we get together and do whatever fun things people are supposed to do in taverns. Uh, we're really glad to have you here hanging out. We've got a great show in store for you and it's gonna be a little bit different every time. So we're really excited to see what you have, to see what we have for you. You know what I have? I have nothing! Nerea, hurry up! As the nights grow colder and spooky season approaches, the Lost Ark community has shared with me their scariest stories from their time in Arcasia. During Rowan release, there was a secret cave you could enter to collect a Makoko seed. I entered, and to my surprise, there were five Makoko seeds. When I started to press G, the other Makoko seeds suddenly transformed into sharpshooters from the opposing blue faction, and they all started channeling Snipe! Scary stories from Arcasia! <laughs> <laughs> there was that time where everyone logged in, but all their fions were negative. That sh was scary. Scary stories from Arcasia. We deeply apologize. I used 250 fions to cut a 7-7 seven, seven stone and didn't even get it. One day later, I get a random stone drop from a chaos dungeon and get my 7-7 seven, seven stone. Rip my fions. Scary stories from Arcasia. R.I.P. This one really sun shivers down my spine whenever I remember it. As a committed player since launch, my mother does not allow me to have dinner before I finish my weekly Akan hard mode with my guildies. I had to starve while doing it. However, after it was done and I arrived to get my cold dinner, it was not what I expected. It was a cold soup with beans! <laughs> Scary stories from Arcasia! <laughs> <laughs> So the Plechia update came out last month and you've probably been seeing a lot of Armin. So let's talk about the Delane in the room. Spoilers ahead. Armin, what a guy. The moody half man, half demon Delane that turned his back on you and the Thyrain only to walk straight into the very, very questionable embrace of Carmine. Let's talk about where he's been and the newest place you can go in Arcasia. For those that need to throw it way, way back, Armin was first introduced to you as a priest who joined you to help save Arcasians and protect the Ark. But it quickly became clear that Armin was harboring an unholy power as a secret Delane and fighting to contain his demonic form. At Lost Wind Cliff, Sacrian Executor Solis launched an attack on an innocent group of people, and Armin wasn't strong enough to save them. Broken emotionally, Armin let his rage take over and murdered all of the assailants because two wrongs definitely make a right. Despite you and Thyrain coming to save the day like you always do, Armin refused to return home with his two best friends, instead fully embracing his Delane form and Carmine. <clears throat> Not romantically, probably. From here, you probably moved on like a normal person, continued playing Lost Ark, and didn't consider Armin for a while until you found yourself randomly on Promise Isles. Despite being replaced, Allegro assures you that you still are the light for Armin, even as he quite literally battles his own demons. And he tells you that you will cross paths again someday. But you move forward as always, and eventually found yourself in Elgatia, where Armin finally decided to make an actual appearance. With Carmine in tow, surprise, the enemy of my enemy is my friend, these two helped you face off against L'Oreal and save Elgatia to find the last arc. Here he calls you old friend and proceeds to grunt at you for several minutes before finally lamenting about the past. Talk about giving mixed signals and being a fair weather friend. It's now time to adventure to Plechia, where Armin grew up. We've had about enough of him and his weird grunting in the present, so it's time to learn about his past in this land of art and romance where his trail has finally led to. Cheers to Armin. God, can we cut to commercial? Cut to commercial. Disgusting. Embarrassing. Humiliating. This fashion has got to go. Last season's Nereus wardrobe is the wrong kind of scary. Do you have a physical form? 
Then come down to Akan's Spooky Costume Emporium. Look at this drip. We've got Overlord and Witch Skins. And even little ghost pets. My shops are spreading across Arcasia. Here, here, of course here. Everywhere you can catch diseases, you'll find a cons spooky costume emporium. Don't waste away your corporeal form. Wear my plague legion wares today. <coughs> Uh, welcome back from our commercial break. You might notice I have a new barfly here with me. Uh, this is Tim. Why don't you say hi, Tim? Hi, Tim. Perfect. Uh, Tim, why don't you introduce yourself to our Heroes of Arcasia? Well, as previously stated, I'm Tim, and I'm the senior lead brand uh, person on Lost Ark. Cool. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about what that means, like what your role is? My role is to help orchestrate all the, the different groups here at Amazon Games that work on Lost Ark to help learn what the players want, listen to the feedback that they have, and then try to incorporate that into educational, exciting, and entertaining ways to help promote both what we're doing in-game and what's to come. Cool. Uh, how would you say that that work impacts players? I know you already kind of answered it, but... Well, I think I'd like to think that we're able to give players an idea of what's coming up to get them excited about the next, you know, next month's content, next month's update, um, but also to keep players engaged and interested in what they're doing in the game now um, to help build that community, which we all so dearly love about games as a service type games. <laughs> we love games as a service. All right, I have one more question for you. This might be a hard one. What is your favorite project for Lost Ark that you've worked on? Uh, my favorite project undoubtedly is the video that we created for the first anniversary back in February. I won't let them forget you. So we worked with some content creators that uh, are near and dear to many of you as we uh, as we've used them for so many different things throughout the years here. Uh, but we really wanted to create a campaign that celebrated the players. Um, all the hard work and effort and all the joy and excitement they had playing the game uh, over for the first year. And we really wanted to bring that all to life. So we tapped into some of the archives that we have from the videos and the streams that the creators produced and tried to recreate a lot of those moments for folks so that when they watch those, those videos, it would remind them all the fun and excitement they had doing things for the first time in the game. Yeah, that was a really cool video. I remember the first time I watched it, actually. It's just, it's got a lot of those, like, great, like, picked out, like, magical moments that really make, like, the Lost Ark experience feel, like, amazing. So that was great. That's a really good favorite project. All right, thank you for answering my questions. I have a few more for you. These are gonna be rapid fire, so I want you to answer just as quickly okay, as wait. possible. Oh. Okay, now I'm ready. You ready? Yes. Are you sure, do you need another drink first? No, I need a refill, actually. Nuria, okay. Um, she's gonna take a while to get here. This is not, I probably wouldn't have picked this bar. The service is really bad. Oh. But until she gets here, rapid fire. You ready? <sighs> I'm ready. Okay. What class do you play? Sharpshooter. Favorite continent? Lutera. Favorite NPC? Balthor. All right, Makoko seeds, how many do you have? Uh, 236. Would you rather eat a Makoko seed? Eat. Or, or, okay, uh, doesn't even matter. He wants to eat a Makoko seed. Why is Thyrain the best ruler in Arcasia? Best armor. Okay, sure. Character customization or stronghold customization? Character customization. Uh, Fair enough. Uh, I have a couple characters. Pick one. Armin or Thyrain? Thyrain. Correct. Thyrain or Nineveh? Thyrain. Thyrain or Balthor? Balthor! Incorrect, but I respect it. Unfortunately, you have been eliminated. This isn't actually a competition. Thank you, Tim, for joining us. Uh, uh, hopefully... Thanks for having me. Oh, you're welcome. Oh, I never get thanked. Nobody ever thanks me for my work. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone behind the camera is really upset I said that. Anyway, thanks for joining me here in Neria's Tavern. Uh, maybe I'll have you back sometime. Uh, you can go. That's okay, all I had. Bye. I didn't have a way to close out this segment. Where's the beer? Find the Makoko! Three, two, one! Hi. Three, two, one! <laughs> Three! Hey!
Hi, I haven't seen you around here before. You must be uh, from Jumpstart Servers. You know, Jumpstart Servers opened up last month and brought a whole bunch of new adventurers into Arcasia. And I know a lot about you. No, no come, come back here. It's like mostly, mostly, come on, good things. Did you know that three out of the six most created classes are actually support classes alongside Slayer, Aromancer, and Sorceress? Did you know the most popular class is Slayer? You probably did. But did you know that Slayer is 13% of all of the created characters? And on the other hand, did you know the least popular class? War Dancer. Sorry, War Dancers. Did you know there are 10 times as many Slayers as there are you? Did you know that over 2 million Makoko seeds have been collected? And did you know that each of those 2 million Makoko seeds have a tiny unborn Makoko person in them? Really gross. Did you know that 1.5 billion chat messages have been sent? And did you know that mailbag is coming next? Hey, Lost for Community and Rocks. In today's question, I wanted to ask you, if you were stuck in an endless quest loop, which part of the story would be the scariest to be stuck in? The part where you fight Banda with Wei and everything is all black and white and trippy and I would just lose my mind. What's the scariest island you visited in Lost Ark? The obvious answer is Midas Island, but my answer is Dream Goal Island. I can still hear their screams. Which Legion Commander has the scariest theme? Probably Brawl Shaza and her space opera. I don't like operas and I don't like space. It's showtime! Hello, Roxanne! I would like to ask you and the other Arkesians about uh, the other children of Kazaros. Which of us is the most despicable? The most evil? Because I felt so personally threatened by that question, I'm going to make it the community question for the day, so you can all feel threatened too. Which of Kazaros' children do you find the most despicable? Let us know in the comments. All right, that's going to do it for our first ever episode of Tavern Talks. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Let us know what you thought. I had a lot of fun, but we're really interested in seeing what you liked and what you might want to see in the future. Remember, every episode is going to be a little bit different, so you never know what could show up, and we want to hear all of your crazy ideas. All right, thanks for joining us, and I'll see you around Arcasia. I am fine. denting the table. That's okay. Okay, yeah. <laughs> as long as you know. <laughs> yeah, hurry up! What? <laughs> <laughs> I hit the light. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yep. I would be dead if there was another person in this blanket. Yeah. I would be cooked alive. Mm -hmm. Cool. Kaja, smooch. <laughs> Tim is here to make you feel things. All the feels. <laughs> so if you're seeing women with big swords, you're probably on a jumpstart server. That was felt like an innuendo. Oh. Start doing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, play. Make some music. <laughs> E alo ki na ma ina ha e pu e o e o